sense, you funny fool. I've had it with your whining and bumbling. Hello Collectors, welcome back to Supreme Collector TV. I'm your host, Brandon Wong. Back again with another unboxing and toy review for Mattel Creations Skeletor. This is just not an ordinary Skeletor, it's the limited Crystal Skeletor. This was announced, uh, I believe it was back in October? It, it caught me off guard because um, Mattel didn't really um, uh give anyone heads up it, it was like kind of like a secret drop i'm not sure if it was a secret job or not but i i think it was because um there was no warning no um announcement uh, maybe there was like a, a day ahead but then once it dropped it um i i was panicking you know i i thought i was you know gonna get beat by the bots and uh, luckily it stayed up for um for order for like maybe a good four days or five I was surprised because I thought it was gonna sell out within minutes, but I was scrambling. I, I created like maybe like three accounts. Uh, it was 50 bucks each. Uh, they allow you to order two per per order, two per customer, and I created three accounts uh, and uh, just so I could get multiples. I, I got like a total of six because yeah, I'm a hoarder like that. And uh, but hey, man, you know I, I love the series. Origins is so far one of my favorite lines of of the license and uh yeah okay let's get this guy unboxed and uh show you what it looks like okay beautiful packaging by the way i'm glad it came in a brown shipper just to protect it um yeah stepping up mattel stepping up So this Mattel Creations line is um, basically a um, like a um, artist series, I guess you could say. It's um, their interpretations of um, or stylized versions of their famous licenses, such as you know Hot Wheels, Barbie, you know Magic Eight Ball, and you know Motu. And um, they started out with this one. And there was a Barbie and a Hot Wheels, but I didn't care about those. I just wanted, you know, this guy. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, this thing is jammed in here. Hold on. Give me a sec. I'm going to take him out off screen. Uh, come out. Okay. There you go. Wow. This is perfect for display purposes. Uh, display purposes, uh, you know, as is. You could just, you know, put them in your detolves or whatever type of display case you have, and bam, it displays really nice. Um, has a clear protective sheet. To um, it's like a acrylic slip cover, but it's also protected. So uh, you won't get those micro scratches, which is really thoughtful. Okay. Let's see. Uh, gives you details. Number one, modernized version of the 1982 Skeletor figure. Number two is 112 action figure. 16 points of articulation and interchangeable body parts. Yeah, yeah. That's what I love about the Origins line. It's really modular. Packaging is beautiful. Okay, let's take off the slip cover so you won't get that awful glare. Okay, let's take them out. Okay. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Man, 
So in the photos, he looks really um, shiny and um, like almost like a shiny crystal. But now that I have him in hand, it's more uh, matte. It's like a it's like a dull crystal. It's, it's translucent, but not as um, clear. It's like a milky translucent uh, translucency. So still beautiful. Okay. Front side back you could see you can read it yourself okay and the bottom all right so let me um unbox him uh, remove him from the box and i'll be right back Okay, I'm back and I have him unboxed. So as you can see, I brought his brother from another mother for a side-by-side -side comparison. And uh, let's get on with it. All right, you, let's check out the weapons. The Havoc Staff. It's basically the same sculpt as the standard colored Skeletor. No noticeable differences, but very cool that's clear crystal clear okay now let's check out the half of the power sword all right also identical sculpt no noticeable differences okay all right now let's compare the figure itself front view so i thoroughly examined him um, uh, before doing this and yeah they're absolutely identical other than one minor change I don't know why they did it but I'll go over it in a little bit the back is the same side view and I'll give you the bottom the codes on the feet obviously is different the serial codes okay so if you see in the back, the belt, the original Skeletor, his belt has three notches, okay, for adjustments. This guy has four. I don't know the purpose of that. Um, I can't see any reason uh, why they need to change it, but it's interesting that they did, okay? So that's the only noticeable difference with the uh, between these two. Other than that, they're identical molds. Okay. Yeah. Very, very cool. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the Origins line, they're also modular. Meaning you could swap parts around. You know, you could put good guy limbs onto the bad guy and vice versa. It's freaking amazing, you know. I haven't, I haven't felt this excited for, for a Motu toy line in quite a while. The classics was probably the the end of an era of of you know really good Motu figures, and then uh, you know Super Seven came out with theirs, and oh man, it was a quite a bit, bit of a letdown. I mean, it, it was kind of cool, but the sculpt were wrong. All the figures had soft features. They look like. Oh man, it, it, they look like, I, 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 I'll tell, like, I'll tell, I'll give you a comparison. Let's just say this is a, a weightlifting competition, okay? The Super 7 version is an off-season Skeletor, meaning he, he ate a bunch of junk food, and he's like all soft, the muscles are like all, you know, not defined. And this guy, he's like a week away from Mr. Olympia competition, he's fucking shredded. You know, he's ready to fuck shit up. You could tell. This is this is how I remember it from when I was a kid. You know, you remember back then, the toys were like shredded. You could see all the details and everything. And that's how I like it. But the good, the best part is they don't have that bow leg, you know. <laughs> you know, now that he's articulated, you know, he stands really well. You know, they're articulated, you know, but they still maintain the classic features. That's why I love this line, uh, this line of figures so damn much. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the uh, the modular feature. 
but I'm not going to use his head because he, his head is painted and I'm afraid it might rub onto the clear plastic, which is, which, you know, kind of be, would be kind of bad because this figure is worth a lot of money now. So I'm going to use, um, scare glow since this head is, um, uh, molded, um, a glow in a dark plastic. So it's not painted. Just pops right off. Oh, wow, this guy's tight. Oh, okay. Put scare glow. There you go. Badass. Same thing goes with the arms. Oh, cool, right? Take this cape out. <laughs> Look at that. Skella glow. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm I'm really digging this line. Uh, you know, a lot of the figures have the classic uh, mechanical features, like the classics line. Uh, the classics line missed. They 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 opted to not spend the money on on the features. Uh, for for instance, Roboto. You know, the internal gears. When you rotate the 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 waist. The gears move and the, the jaw goes up and down. Features like that and the battle armor, Skeletor battle armor, He-Man, they have the rolling barrels where you know you, you smack it, you see the battle damage. You know, it's it's amazing. I you know, I'm so happy they brought back all those classic features. You know, and the best part, they're only $14.99. I'm not talking about this guy. I mean $14.99. You know what I mean? That's crazy deal, you know. I don't know. I, I know. I know I sound all hyped up, but I truly love this toy line and I'm a big Mo2 fan. And um, yeah. So if you guys, you know, are a completionist and you, you want, you need this, I hope you guys PO'd because if you want to get one now, you have to pay quite a bit. You got to pay like, I think he's he's gone up to like $200 or and I'm pretty sure it's going to keep on going up because uh, I don't know if they made uh, that many. I, I got to find out exactly how many they did. But yeah, I, I would jump on it if, if you guys missed out. Buy it now. I know it's a lot of money, but I have a feeling it's going to go up to like 500 by next year. Who knows? So yeah, well, well that's it for today. Thank you for watching and um, yeah, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll do another video soon and until then, thank you and peace out.